Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. We've got a fun one for you today. I'm going to be opening up Evolving Skies booster packs, but these are not just any Evolving Skies booster packs. These are weighted, and I know that that can be controversial. I'm not the one that weighed them. The seller was weighing them. And to be honest with you, with where I'm located, it's not so easy to find booster packs, especially trying to find singles like this. And so these are classified as heavier weight, which means that there's a little bit of a higher chance that you could get some good cards. So I went ahead and ordered what they had available. There are six booster packs here, and this one's got two stickers on it right there. So I think one of those is supposed to go on to this one, because this is literally the only one that doesn't have it, but I'm not sure which of those two stickers technically. Probably this one, because it seems like all the other ones are right along that edge there. But yeah, so we've got ourselves six booster packs. They're all heavy. Can we get something good? Can we get something great? Or is this gonna be a big bust? Well, we're about to find out right now. And if you guys enjoy this content, feel free to hit subscribe. I'm not only gonna be doing these unboxing or opening type videos, I've got some other fun stuff planned for you as well. And so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, what are these ranked by? 22.45, that's 4.9, those are sevens. So it kind of looks like these two are gonna be technically like the lowest weight. So I guess we'll go ahead and start there and then work our way backwards, right? So as you guys can see, I haven't even taken them out of the little plastic wrapper from the seller yet, just to show you guys the back. And I had previously ordered from this seller. I checked out the cards for those. Uh, from what I remember, I didn't see any issues. And I had previously bought some proxy cards from someone else, but they didn't label it as proxy cards. And so I ended up getting a refund on those. And you guys didn't see any video of me opening that, so don't worry, it's not like one of the previous videos I found out, and then such and such cards. But yeah, these um, from the seller, as I mentioned, I have done a previous video with the same seller and the cards were fine. So let's go ahead and open this up. Got a nice little peel going on. All right, you can see those up on the top. As far as I could tell, there's no resealing going on. Everything seems totally legit. So, so far I'm happy just with the fact that this seems like a legitimate product. And here we go, come on. Come on, baby. Let's try and get something really, really good. Can we get something really good? I mean, that part I'm a little bit worried about. Okay, what do we got here? Now keep in mind, we do have the promo card. So that's already right off the bat a good sign, especially if you try out those promo cards and they still work, right? So that, that's a good little benefit there. Now let's go move that off to the side too. So we should have, let's see if I remember correctly, it should be four, right? Four over and there's the energy. Yep, there's the energy card. Okay, wish me luck. Here we go, guys. Starting off with an energy card. And then we go into a Scrafty, Ursa Ring, Crystal Cave. Got that drowsy that we saw. La Bebe, Rog and Rolla. A Psyduck, a Swablu. Oh, here we go. This is nice. This is something that I actually needed. A Reverse Hollow Crystal Cave and a Lilligant. So just to actually prove to you guys that this is real, uh, I already know that I have a Swablu from the series. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do the card test kind of hurts me to do this, to be honest, but okay, let's go. And there you go. You can see the black going along the side of the card. This is a real card. This is a real pack. Oh, I'm so sorry, card. I'm so sorry. But all these packs from the same seller. So, you know, again, as we take a look here, let's go ahead and pull that card out. So we got ourselves the Reverse Hollow Crystal Cave, okay? So at least we know that the cards are real, 
from what I can tell, right? Unless there's some weird uh, witchcraft going on. Let's go ahead and move on to the next booster pack. Slide that out. And this one, not sticky there, but not the worst sign for things. And does feel quite sealed. Okay. Let's go ahead, open that up. Got ourselves the promo card. One, two, three, four. Round we go. And can we get something good? Starting off with the energy card. Then we've got Gordy. Zwilus. Nuzleaf. Hoppip. Dino. Got Mareep. Wow, Buffett. And a love disc. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Gordy. I think this is another one that I actually needed for my collection. And, and, ooh, ooh. Hey, let's go, Espeon V. I love this artwork. And I'm not sure if I have this one, but this looks great. I really like it. I, I think I might actually have this one, but I do like the artwork. That looks quite nice. And going on to the next one now. So this one is supposedly the 22.47. Okay. Slide that on out. And not sticky there, but again, I'm not really worried about that. And we got the peel. Open up. Trying to not reveal that first card for you guys like I've done so in the past and literally in the beginning of this video too, right? One, two, three, four. Around we go. And here we are. We're starting off with the fighting energy. Tenta Cruel. Palpitoad, a normal shopping center, Woobat, Gossifleur, Feebas, Hippopotis, a Lillipup, and a reverse hollow Ludicolo. Uh, I believe this is another one that I actually needed for my my pursuit of a master set. I don't even have a set yet, but I'm still trying to get that and then a full master set. And then we've got a Reggie Drago Hollow. And I'm pretty sure I have that one. I don't think I have the reverse. Okay, now we're on to the 22.47. We've got after this 22.49. So the most heavy weighted ones. Now my understanding is that as far as the weighted packs goes, they are trying to combat this with the, let me get that out of there first. So hopefully you guys can hear me a bit better. So they're trying to combat that by changing the weight of these promo cards. That's what I've been told before. Let me know if I'm correct on that. But by changing the weight of these inside the packs, people that try to weigh them, it's not gonna be as effective. So here we go. There we go, we've got a little bit of the sticky going on. I like that feel. And, and it tears apart quite easily though. So that part, I'm not so happy about that. And I just said that I was trying to make it so it was less revealing for you guys and I totally butchered it right there. So I would suspect potentially the reason why some of these packs act the way that they do uh, is potentially that they came in like tins, they came in something later on. But let me know if you guys agree with me or disagree with me that. Because I believe they did do a reprint of the Evolving Skies at one point. Okay, turn it around. Got ourselves 
Energy, of course. Green Ball. Zinnia's Resolve. Hippo Down. Lit Leo. A Low Tad. A Teddy Ursa, yeah. Cryogonal. We've got Nick. And what's the reverse hollow gonna be? Ooh, a Teddy Ursa. I think I needed that one. And then the next card is a Curum, which I do believe I already have that one. Down to our last two packs. This one's actually got some little stickers in it. So they sent me stickers the last time. In case you guys are wondering who the seller is, you can see one of my previous videos. Come on. You see one of my previous videos and when they sent me these little stickers, they're very similar to this. And these ones look like they're different than the ones I got before. We've got the, what's that, Nido King? That's, I think that's Nido King, not Nido Queen. I'm pretty sure that's Nido King. Like 90% sure. These look cool. I like these little stickers. It's really nice of them to include a little bonus like that too. Okay. Let's see. We got ourselves a little bit of sticky there. Maybe because of the sticky part, it's also going to just sort of tear super brittly when I do this. But, and yeah, that kind of seems to be the trend when it's got the little bit of the sticky on there. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys think that these seem legit if you're a little bit worried about them what's your thoughts on that starting off with the energy vigoroth dream ball zinnia's resolve applin sableye there's nick it uh we've got bergmite and Carvanha. Let's see. What's the next one going to be? It is... Ooh! Reverse Hollow Raichu. This I'm also really happy with because I know that I needed this. So I'm very happy to have that added in. And then do we have another really good card behind this? We've got ourselves a... An Altaria. Okay, so not a great card behind that one. But I am happy with the Raichu. So worst case scenario, at the very least, I am working towards my master set collection. I still got a ways to go. And yeah, I would really love to get some super rare, more expensive type cards. Uh, I can always buy those independently, but just as far as the booster packs goes, because I still have so many cards that I need to add to my collection, I don't feel like this is a complete bust by opening these booster packs. And yes, I know you can also buy those cards individually, separately, and they're also for cheaper, but I'm doing a YouTube channel, I'm doing opening, stuff like that, and part of the fun is opening up packs, right? So it's not just about literally trying to complete the set, it's also about having some fun on the journey. And we are still, yeah, okay. So here we go. This one didn't have that little sticky part, and everything seems all legit to me. Maybe a little bit of concern about that bottom, but not really. Okay. Come on, baby. Let's go. Umbreon Alt Art. Can we get it? Is this going to be the pack? What are the chances, right? Buying from somebody online. That promo card. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Starting off with the energy, of course. Tentacruel. Rubber gloves. There's Floet. Dwebble. We've got Rufflet. Rog and Rolla, Wabafet, 
and we've got a hop hip. Here we go, reverse hollow. Amolga, hey. I think I just have this as normal. And then the last card, the last card. All right, okay, it doesn't look like it's gonna be anything super special, but come on, give me something good still. A Salamence, hey, I think I needed this one too. Pretty sure I needed this one too. All right, so we didn't get anything super amazing, fantastic. And again, these are weighted packs. So you guys tell me, do you think that the weighted packs is really something that should justify how much you spend when you go out and buy these packs? Do you think that um, people are doing other trickeries with those? Or do you think that it really needs to be an even higher weight? Because there are some that are even a little bit more than what these packs were, but um, they didn't have it for sale anymore. Other people had apparently bought those. So do you think it's like only the most absolute heaviest weight ones are the ones that you really can get those uh, what's your guys' thoughts so share your thoughts with us down in the comments below and if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit subscribe hit that thumbs up like button just kind of going through these cards again for you guys showing you what we got going on here there's Kiram, Teddy Ursa, Reggie Drago, Ludicolo, Espeon V, Gordy, and a reverse hollow crystal cave. Okay, thank you guys so much. God bless, we'll see you in the next episode.